Okay, you guys, so I am excited for today's video because we will be trying something different. Now, I follow a lot of food pages and I'm always seeing these delicious recipes that I wanna try, but a lot of them are not keto. And the first thing that comes to my mind is how can I make this keto or how can I make this low carb? So I was scrolling on TikTok and I saw someone make these Big Mac, like McDonald's Big Mac tacos. And I was like, what? What you say now? McDonald's style Big Mac tacos. Like I want to make those all day long okay so yeah i saw this recipe i definitely want to make it but i was like how can i make this keto so for today's video i'm going to attempt to make these low carb keto style so definitely wish me luck and don't laugh at me if they come out looking crazy <laughs> For the meat portion of this recipe, I want to make sure that it is A1, so I will be using ground beef from ButcherBox. For this video, I did partner with them. I got my box over here. Now let's go ahead and get into it. So if this is your first time hearing of ButcherBox, they are a high quality meat delivery subscription service that believes in better. Better means that they care about animal welfare, believe in supporting farmers, and treating our planet with respect. They offer 100% grass-fed beef, free-range organic chicken, humanely raised pork, and wild-caught seafood. They have five different boxes for you to choose from, but their most popular box is their custom box, where you can pick exactly what you want for more than 25 choices. This box will get you 9 to 14 pounds of high-quality meat, which averages out to be less than $6 per meal. You also get 20% more meat than their curated boxes, and you can change the cuts of meat with each order. Shipping is always free, and you can cancel anytime without hassle. Last month I partnered with ButcherBox for the first time because I wanted to start eating healthier when I can. And let me tell you, when I ate their meat, I can definitely tell the difference. The quality is A1. I made a Mississippi pot roast with their chuck roast and the meat was so tender and buttery. I promise you it was probably the best meat I ever tasted. And everything else I've tried has been the same way. So when I say that the quality is there the quality is there and the fact that I can have it delivered to my doorstep just sealed the deal for me so I definitely recommend for you guys to check out butcher box I will have the link in the description box below for you guys and right now if you sign up with your email you will get lobster tails and ribeyes in addition to your order for free in your first box. So you definitely don't wanna miss out on that. Okay, you guys, so before we get into our tacos, I did wanna show you what I got in my box. You guys know I always do an unboxing, so yeah, I had to go ahead and do that. Let me see. Ah. Ooh wee. Okay, so, so I don't have these in any particular order. I'm just gonna pull them out of the box just like they are okay so the first thing oops. okay so the first thing I got is this ground pork and it says raised by US family farmers committed to sustainable and humane practices so I really do love that they really care about you know just making sure the animals are being treated humanely so yes I ended up getting this ground pork because I want to try like some keto style egg rolls and I will be showing that in a future video so I definitely wanted to pick up some ground pork for that. I have really been loving just like that Asian type of flavoring and flair like I have been on it okay so I definitely want to pick up some ground pork so that is the first thing that I got. The second thing are some steak tips. Um, these are grass fed beef premium steak tips. Again, I got this because I want to try like a beef stir fry and I, I wanted to have some like quality like bomb beef. You understand? I wanted it to be soft and tender and that, you know, soy type of flavor busted through. Like I really want to try to do like a 
um, beef type of stir fry because if you've been watching my other videos I've really been loving stir fry lately so I got that okay the next thing I got are some boneless skinless chicken thighs and again I just really love their packaging I love the fact that you know when you buy a big tray of meat you have to kind of separate it yourself if you're not going to use it all in one sitting and I like the fact that you know this is just it's you can just cut it and use this portion so I'm definitely I'm I use chicken thighs all the time now it's really actually become one of my favorite um, parts of the chicken so I definitely want to get some more of this um, people were also telling me the last time I made the Mississippi pot roast and everybody was telling me how good that same recipe is with chicken thighs so I was like you know what I definitely want to try that out so I will be trying like the Mississippi type pot roast recipe with these chicken thighs the next thing i got is this wild caught alaska cod um last time i got some salmon and i really wanted to just try a different fish so i picked up this wild cod but yeah i definitely want to try it out because i don't think i've had cod in a long time i almost forgot the taste but i remember liking it <laughs> i don't remember feeling like i don't like it so i was like okay let me go ahead and pick this up the next thing i got is this 100% grass-fed beef um, ground beef and this is what I'll be using in today's recipe and yeah we gonna go ahead and make it do what it do tonight with this the next thing I got is this chuck rose this is um, grass-fed beef boneless chuck rose y'all know I had to pick another chuck rose up because yeah I will be making that Mississippi pot roast again immediately so yeah that's happening and that will be happening with this chuck roast you understand and this is what you'll get in addition to your box if you order now with butcher box this is the promotion that they have going on so this these grass-fed ribeye steaks as well as our lobster tails y'all know I have never made lobster tails before but when I see people making like the steak and lobster and it's just looking so delicious like man i was so happy to see these in my box so yes you guys one of these days i'm about to make me um a ribeye steak with these lobster tails with a lot of garlic butter and some cauliflower mash on the side and maybe a little broccoli a little loaded cauliflower mash or something and i'm gonna have a good old time with a nice glass of wine okay so yes you guys this is everything that i got in my box i'm so happy so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and defrost this ground beef really quick and we're going to go ahead and get into our recipe. Okay you guys, so let's check out the TikTok video. okay you guys so from the video this is what it looks like we need so i'm just gonna go over it really quick we have our ground beef we also have some onion some dill pickles some shredded lettuce some sliced cheese and then this is what's gonna make this low carb so instead of using regular hamburger buns I'm gonna be using some low carb hamburger buns from Sola they are six net carbs per serving and I'm also gonna be using a thousand island dressing recipe from Papa G on YouTube I love Papa G I haven't seen his videos in a while but he always has some great videos um, and some simple recipes like from sauces to desserts to 
everything I love him so um yeah I'm gonna be doing his recipe for the Thousand Island dressing you're also gonna I don't know if this is actually needed but I just wanted to do it <laughs> as close as to the video as I could and it's these taco shell makers I've never seen these before ever but I went looking for them once I saw the um, TikTok video so um, I was able to get these off of Amazon and they were pretty inexpensive um, I will link them down below for you guys um, the next thing you're gonna need is some taco stands um, I already had these and I purchased these from Amazon as well and I'll link them down below so yeah let's go ahead I think the hardest part is just going to be trying to get the bread to shape and because it's low carb and it's made with different ingredients I don't know if it's going to break all apart I don't know if it's going to hold its own like a normal hamburger bun I don't know what's about to happen but we will see but the first thing I'm going to do is just go ahead and brown our ground beef Okay, you guys, so these are all the ingredients that we're going to need for our Thousand Island dressing. Again, this recipe is from Papa G on YouTube. I'm going to go ahead and link him down below. Um, so we're going to need some vinegar, mayonnaise, reduced sugar ketchup or sugar-free ketchup. Um, this one is unsweetened from Thrive Market. Um, we're going to need some dill relish, garlic powder, onion powder, salt, and some kind of sweetener. So, um... Or sugar substitute so I'm gonna be using these liquid um, stevia drops so yeah let's go ahead and get this mixed together so we can have it chilling in the fridge while we get everything else together Thousand Island on chill that's in the fridge and we're pretty much done after we turn these into little taco shells this is really really quick if I didn't have to film it probably would take about 20 minutes tops so this is the tricky part we're gonna see if this actually like flattens out and does what it's supposed to do like the video said for it to do you know <laughs> so um, I'm gonna take a rolling pin but you can use anything like a jar or something else to flatten it out so we're gonna go ahead and start with the top piece now I couldn't tell if they used the top piece and the bottom piece in the video or if they use both top pieces I really couldn't tell so I'm just gonna go ahead and use this I hope it's soft enough if not I might try to put it in the fridge but I'm just hoping it doesn't crack 
Hey. <clears throat> okay. It's flattening, y'all. Not cracking. Okay, so this is what it's looking like so far. I'm trying the other side too. Okay, you guys, so we got this pretty dang on flat. So I'm happy about that because I was scared it was gonna crack. So let's go ahead and try it with this bottom piece. Okay, you guys, so we got this one pretty flat as well. I'm pleasantly surprised. It's both our pieces. And the top one is a little bit thicker than the bottom one. So let's go ahead and grill these things on up. It looks like they grilled it in some butter. Then we're gonna use our taco forms and hopefully this stays in a taco shape. So here are our finished Big Mac tacos. Okay, so they pretty much look like the TikTok video, okay? I feel very happy about this because I didn't know if like low carb buns or bread would like fall apart. So I was happy about that. The only thing I will say is that I believe that the low carb buns are on a smaller scale. So the tacos aren't as big as um, the tacos that were in the TikTok video. And... So I couldn't fit as much in there. And plus my taco stands were are much smaller in space. I need something that's kind of like more, you know, open to add more inside of it. But overall, I'm very satisfied with how everything came out. Now let's go ahead and see how it tastes. So let's pick this one. Ah, I'm scared. Wow. This is really a Big Mac taco. Like, what? It has everything <laughs> that a Big Mac pretty much has. Okay, so, okay, let's go ahead and taste this. This is so freaking delicious and I promise you guys it tastes like you're eating a full Big Mac and it's low carb you guys definitely try this out it's fun it's different it's a unique recipe and you know it's just something fun and different to try out and it tastes good and y'all this meat haha <laughs> 
is seasoned to a perfection and tastes so good. So yes, you guys, this is my keto fied Big Mac tacos. So yes, you guys, that concludes my video. I hope that you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed filming it for you. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you guys check out Butcher Box in the description box below. Remember, if you sign up with your email, you will get lobster tails and ribeye steaks in your box in addition to your order for free. So you definitely don't want to miss out on that. And until my next video, have a blessed day, have a blessed week, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.